Morning, it's the 26th of August, 2024. It's bank holiday today, bank holiday Monday. Yes. You say you got bank holidays. You think the establishment just said, let's give me a bank holiday. No, they didn't. The unions fucking got you that. I see. Just going to give you a little view, but it's a bank holiday. I'm going to show you what I can see. What a nice morning it is. Anyway, today we're going to talk about uh, probably most unfunny comedian I've ever, I've ever known, ever heard on, Jim Davison. But before that, we'll play a bit of catch up and uh, MPs and staffers who had a bet on the day to the election, uh, prior to the election taking place, prior to anybody actually knowing, prior to it being announced, uh, actually, that was a, they got some insider information, and they, they put bet money on the election, and they won. How good is that? Well, they did not date, so they're obviously going to win. But that's against the law. But uh, there's going to be no charges brought against them. I don't know why not. But I suppose it's easier not to do for some people. Uh, I've been looking pension credits. If you want to claim pension credits. Uh, there's 243 questions to be answered. No wonder people aren't claiming it. On Friday, the energy price cap, that lifted to uh, uh, by 10%. And now, the, uh, the standing charges for electric are £221.61 pence a year. And for gas, it's £115.56 a year, or a total of £338. 17 pence, yeah, that's a, a five a week for fucking nothing. For absolutely nothing. And like I say, it's gone up 9.6% electric and uh, gas is going up 13.9. Can't get my head around it. Standing charges up 1.4% electric and 0.8% gas. Sadly, on Saturday, the, uh, the North Dorset all the fucking Devon and Somerset stag hounds went out on Saturday. They chased this stag four mile uh, till it could no longer stand. It jumped in river to try and save it. So. And uh, I've seen a clip on it. They put Mendy Punts up, so North, North Dorset Punts up. They've got a YouTube channel now, so you can see it on there if you want to see it. I uh, don't know why you want to, but I've seen it. And uh, they've got fucking quad bikes, motorbikes, men on us bikes, fucking foot soldiers, land rovers. There's no escape for that stag, and there were no escapes. So what they did, they ran it to exhaustion, and uh, like I say, jumped in the river as last as on the fucking shot it, and that's their idea of fun. Right on to Jim Davison, Jim Davison OBE. Let me add, he, he was talking about the new Labour government. Uh, watch this clip. Think of another party in history or anybody in history that has fucked up so bad as two tier care. Right? We had a few days of Labour in charge, so what batch bonkers things have they done in that time? Well, let's, let's have a look, Jules, because they've done lots of shit. Right, first of all, they've caved into the train drivers and given them a 15% pay rise in exchange for what? Absolutely no productivity improvements whatsoever. No, they just caved in. Right. That was a fucking fabulous deal they did there, wasn't it? Hey, great getting those train people round the table and saying, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to be really tough. We're going to give you what you want. And so they have. And the best bit is, listen to this, you couldn't make it up. The train drivers are still going to go on strike every weekend for the next three months over some bullshit. Ugh. No, no, they've got some dispute, so they'll probably get even more than that. It's not bad, is it? A train driver, you know, hello, Ivor. Over the train, is it? Or, psh, tickoof, psh, tickoof. remember all that? 69 grand a year, plus a gold-plated pension for pressing a pedal every few minutes. I've often wondered what train drivers do. Can't, they, can't it be automatic? It's got to be a person driving it, isn't it? So that's it. That's probably the problem that the train drivers are saying. We don't want all this automated stuff. You can't steer it, can you? You can't, there's no steering wheel. It goes. You have to rely on someone else to steer the... There you go, then you were slagging Keir Starmer off and the, the new Labour government. Let me tell you something, Jim. Uh, they're upsetting a lot of people, including myself, but to be fair, they've sorted rail, railwaymen out. They've sorted uh, 
Doctors, they'll be sorted. Round the job sorted. Riots, they've got fucking sorted. Jim preferred a, a, one, billion pound, a one billion pound productivity lost due to chair strikes compared to the 100 million it's cost to sort them out. Uh, and I'll tell you what I know. I'll tell you what a lot, a lot of trains have has done, Jim. They haven't fucking jumped out of country when they are a million pound tax. They haven't gone to Dubai. And then they haven't come back when they've declared the same fucking bankrupt, still owing £700,000, what's been wrote off, obviously. No change have have done that. And this lad's got a fucking OBE. I loved how he, he, he's gone back fucking 20 and 30 years over the engine and fucking zippy and that. He's living in fucking past this little cunt. Uh, what I do find sad, he's a millionaire co comedian. Uh, Coming on, morning about fucking turn drivers getting 69 grand a year. Uh, the irony is lost on me. Notice, do you notice one thing? Notice how I went from slagging government off to slagging fucking working class people off. He's a fucking millionaire. He's a cunt. Have a great day, everybody. Uh, sorry, it's a bit long, this one. Wakey, wakey.